always wanted to try being a daredevil? Well, you're basically one. That is, if you plan on visiting Mexico again. Mexico is a nation with a dynamic culture that draws millions of tourists every year due to its stunning landscapes, historic monuments, and cultural attractions. But did you know that the country's crime rate has increased by 28.37% since 2015? Hola, welcome to Open Tierra. Brace yourselves for revelations that will forever change the way you view Mexico. The countdown to wisdom begins now. Let's unveil the forbidden and discover why this is truly the one place you must stop visiting. At the crossroads of wanderlust and wonder, Mexico emerges as an irresistible haven for travelers. Its allure rests upon a captivating blend of elements that enchant the senses and beckon explorers from far and wide. Brimming with a vibrant culture that dances through time, Mexico unveils its historic sights like pages from a living history book. You can explore the ruins of a Mayan temple during the day and eat delicious food while listening to live music at night. You can also explore the colorful corals and marine creatures of the undersea world while relaxing on exotic beaches. Whether you travel to the west or east coast, there is no shortage of exciting things to do, from dining adventures to outdoor pursuits. There is a stretch of sand for everyone in Mexico, thanks to its numerous beaches and boundless coastline. Have you heard of the famous Cancun memes in the NBA? Well, it's actually in Mexico. When visiting Cancun and the surrounding area, you may take in the wild landscape of the Pacific coast close to places like Cabo San Lucas or the crystal clear seas of the Atlantic Ocean and Caribbean Sea on the East Coast. You can dangle your toes in the serene azure seas of Cozumel's greatest beaches, notably Palancar Beach on the island's southwest corner. You can unwind on the fine white beaches and cool off in the ocean. Excellent snorkeling is also available over the coral gardens of the nearby reef, which are teeming with schools of fish. Curious to delve deeper into the vibrant tapestry of Mexico? Embark on a journey through its cultural landscapes where tequila stands tall as one of the nation's most well-known exports. The blue agave plant is used to make tequila, which was first produced in the 16th century and is only regarded genuine if it is produced in Mexico. For those who don't know, tequila is a spirit that you'll find on every cocktail menu in Mexico, whether you choose to drink it neat or in a mouth-watering margarita. On Mexico's west coast in Puerto Vallarta, you can explore the educative side of tequila. With a visit to Hacienda Doña Engracia, you'll get the chance to learn about the production of tequila in this area. Following that, you will have the opportunity to sample six different tequila grains, including tastes like peach and chocolate. Remember in 2012 when we thought it was going to be the end of the world because of the Mayan calendar? Well, you can actually learn the rich history of the Mayan civilization in Mexico. The mysterious archaeological sites left by the ancient Maya is a big factor to why Mexico gained popularity. The most famous site, Chichen Itza, lies in the Yucatan state, about three hours from Cozumel, Cancun, and Tulum. The ancient city is a wonder to behold, with a total of 26 different ruins. It is simple to understand why the location was named one of the world's new seven wonders. The four square miles of grounds are a delight to explore because they are full of fascinating adventures, cenotes, and caverns. El Castillo, the well-known pyramid-shaped building with 91 stairs on each of its four sides, will be recognizable to you. If you're fortunate enough to be able to observe El Castillo at the time of the spring or fall equinoxes, you'll have the chance to see the shadowy apparition of a strange snake-like shape. There are numerous natural wonders in Mexico, with numerous breathtaking sights, including enormous rock formations in the sea and cenotes, which are naturally occurring limestone sinkholes. One of Cabo San Lucas's most recognizable natural landmarks is the impressive rock arch known as El Arco, sometimes known as Land's End. The rock formations, which can only be reached by boat, are situated between Lover's Beach, one of Mexico's top destinations for couples, and the amusingly called Divorce Beach. Beach. You've probably seen this in shows or movies, but Mexican culture is particularly well known for its mariachi music. With a violin, guitar, guitarón, and a vihuela as the main musical instruments, mariachi bands normally consist of four members dressed in charro suits. 
At important occasions like weddings and birthday parties, these folktale songs are a staple. But there are also live music venues nearby and on the streets, which further heightens the festive atmosphere of your Mexican feast. Hearing these musicians play in person would definitely immerse you to the full Mexican experience. Spanish colonial cities in Mexico also have beautiful architecture, imposing cathedrals, exquisite fountains, and historical landmarks dating back to the 16th century. These fascinating Pueblos Magicos, or magic towns, are definitely enticing sights to see when you're in Mexico, with around approximately 120 of them existing. You can visit the Pacific Coast city of Old Mazatlan to explore the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, the Teatro Angela Peralta, and the Plazuela Machado while strolling the cobblestone streets. You can admire the Bella Poc architecture, take advantage of the pubs and restaurants, and stretch your legs by strolling along the 13-mile Malecon Seaside Promenade. There are a lot of enticing adventures in Mexico, making it rank second in the world's top tourist destinations, yet this rampant violence and organized crime there frequently make worldwide news. Mexico is one of the least peaceful nations in Latin America, according to the Global Peace Index or GPI. Despite it being recognized internationally as a nation with a complex and high criminal activity where drug trafficking and related crimes are commonplace, theft on the street or pickpocketing on public transportation are some of the most frequently reported crimes in Mexico, followed by fraud and extortion cases. On the other hand, kidnapping is among the crimes against personal freedom that the Mexican community experiences most frequently. Mexico also had the second highest number of kidnappings in Latin America in 2020. According to the advisory of the U.S. Department of State, Mexico indeed has a high prevalence of violent crime, including homicide, abduction, carjacking, and robbery. Due to travel restrictions on U.S. government employees in some regions of Mexico, the U.S. government has limited capacity to offer emergency assistance to American citizens there. Outside of the state capital or major cities, local emergency services are typically lacking in many states. One of the places in Mexico that has become more dangerous for tourists is Acapulco in the Guerrero state, which was flagged as a do-not-travel place by the U.S. Department of State. In the past, Acapulco was a popular tourist resort that drew visitors from all over the world, but because of its high crime rate, the city has recently developed a reputation as one of Mexico's most dangerous locations. Violent crime in Acapulco has increased, including drug-related activities and homicide rates that are higher than in many other Mexican cities. Possibly a low-crime area, Culiacan has also seen an increase in crime over the past three years. There are 84 crimes committed per 100,000 people overall. The city is also a hub for cartel fights, and with the capture of Ovidio Guzman, the infamous drug lord El Chapo's son, it became the scene of a deadly territorial conflict. With 61 homicides per 100,000 persons, Culiacan's residents and visitors are in a hazardous condition. One of the most dangerous cities in the world as well as the most violent city in Mexico is Tijuana, according to numerous reports. It has high rates of violent crime and homicide, with 105 homicides per 100,000 residents in 2023. At one time in 2022, the city was recording six homicides per day. In the area, there are several drug cartels that compete for control of the entry points into the U.S. It is really best to avoid traveling in Baja California Sur because narcotics violence is a problem in the city and its environment. Nevertheless, despite what can seem to be unacceptably high crime rates, most violent crimes only occur between criminal organizations. A number of complicated problems, including drug trafficking, organized crime, and corruption, contribute to Mexico's reputation as a dangerous country. Although the majority of the country is still safe for tourists, several regions have seen an increase in crime and violence. When preparing for their adventures to Mexico, tourists should use caution and keep up with the most recent safety recommendations. Responsible travel, vigilance, and heeding local guidance can all help reduce possible danger and guarantee a safer experience while taking in everything that Mexico has to offer. Did you like this video? Well, what about Singapore like you've never seen it? Watch this video to learn about that.